Hey everybody, Jimmy Grappone here with Costello Real Estate and Investments. Uh, I'm trying a new thing, calling it lunchtime with Jimmy. Um, it's 12.15, uh, actually it's close to 12.30 now on uh, Monday, March 30th. So maybe a lot of you are sitting around eating your lunch right now. You got your phone going and you just got this little pop-up that I went live. So uh, bear with me, just going to be a few minutes here. But I want to start out with something positive and I want to start with my quote of the day. So if you uh, follow me on social media at all, uh, lately, I've been starting out the days with a uh, with a, a motivational, inspirational quote. So, today's quote is: "Desire is a starting point of all achievement, not a hope, not a wish, but a keen, pulsating desire which transcends everything." And that is from Napoleon Hill. Uh, Napoleon Hill was the author of the book "Think and Grow Rich." So, um, some great motivational tools there. So, the main things that I'm going to talk about, and I put this in the uh, in the topic here, is um, the North Carolina stay-at-home ordinance and text message, man. State, uh, safe real estate best practices. Uh, what's going on in my business right now? Um, I'm gonna talk real briefly about my updated social media, and I'd love to get your feedback on that. And then um, also about what. Um, finally, we'll talk about what I'm watching right now. Um, there's a lot of downtime, a lot of uh, time on the couch watching new shows. So I'd love to hear what you guys are watching. I'll share what I'm watching as well. So. First off, with the North Carolina stay-at-home ordinance and what it means for real estate sales. So there's uh, there's two different ordinances. So North Carolina um, set up, so starting today, March 30th at 5 p.m., North Carolina is undergoing, they're going under a statewide stay-at-home ordinance, um, except for essential activities. Now, thankfully for uh, those people who are buying and selling houses in North Carolina, the governor of North Carolina has deemed uh, real estate brokerage services to be uh, considered essential services. What that means is uh, throughout most of North Carolina, and this doesn't apply directly to Mecklenburg, uh, Charlotte, which I'll get to in a minute, but throughout most of North Carolina, in-person showings are still allowed. Uh, the biggest thing is we have to follow CDC guidelines. Uh, no more than three people are allowed in a house at, at a time. And we have to practice social distancing, so maintaining that six-foot uh, buffer zone, especially with uh, between you know the agents and, and our clients, uh, not touching any surfaces, uh, so no touching counters, uh, don't you know, touch doorknobs and things like that. Uh, only allow agents to open doors. Uh, we're disinfecting uh, surfaces upon touching them. Another big thing, and what we're seeing now is an uptick in virtual showing. So virtual showings are encouraged as well, and a virtual showing is when. Uh, an agent would go into a house by themselves and you would communicate ver via FaceTime or, uh, or WhatsApp chat or doing a Zoom call. And another way of doing that too is just filming a video, doing a walkthrough and you know, uploading, it to, uh, uploading it to YouTube, saving it as an unlisted video. You know, as an agent, we can do that and then send that to our clients or to other agents who have clients who are possibly interested. Uh, if you're in Mecklenburg County now, um, showings are not currently allowed in Mecklenburg County uh, because they have stiffer guidelines. However, once you have some skin in the game, uh, you can have inspections and appraisals and things like that. And as the buyer, you can actually go and check out the house um, for a final walkthrough prior to closing. Uh, as far as what's going on in my business, um, I've been staying active, trying to do a lot of training. Obviously, I've been here on, I've been active on social media doing more videos, but also uh, taking more online training, you know, from how, from the house. So I'm working on my South Carolina continuing education right now. Um, and I'm taking a couple online, a couple other online courses as well. Uh, I do have two new listings in Mecklenburg County, which hit the market last week. Uh, one went under contract in a day. The other one is still available. That one, if you want to look it up, it's 8117 Pine Hill Road. Mint Hill, North Carolina. So you can you can find it on my page, jimmygrapponi.com or realtor.com, Zillow, or just if you Google that wet, that email, I'm sorry, if you Google that address, 8117 Pine Hill Road, it'll come up. That's actually the only uh, two-story, four-bedroom home under $300,000 in Mint Hill. Uh, so even though we can't show it in person, you can still check it out online. So if you know somebody who's interested in looking for something like that, please share it with them. Um, I'm also actively working with uh, buyers, both in new construction and in resale. Um, and you know what? I'm available to take on new, new listings and buyer clients, as I always am. Um, but primarily in uh, Union County in the Waxhaw area, which is, uh, which is where 
the, the hub of my business is located. Um, so Union County, Waxhaw area, as well as Indian Land and Fort Mill, South Carolina areas. So if you or someone you know, if you're thinking about possibly buying or selling a home in the Carolinas, please let me know. I'd love to help you out, love to help them, uh, or and I'm available just to answer any questions and consult and give some guidance to you as well. Um, another big thing that I've done recently that you may have noticed is I've updated my social media. And I'm doing this across all the platforms, so Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, and YouTube as well. So I'm updating, I've changed my, uh, my Twitter, my handle um, to meet me in CLT. So um, the reason I'm not trying to meet, not soliciting, not trying to meet people in person. Uh, but Text the, message, the man. The reason we're doing this, the objective is to reach more people throughout the Charlotte region. Um, you know, CLT is our air, airport code. So um, we're trying to, trying to reach more people in Charlotte um, as opposed to more, more people obviously know CLT than know uh, Jimmy Graponi. So um, thanks, Katrina. I just saw your, uh, your comment on there. So, um, yeah, so we're, we're updating our social media and the goal and, and the content that I'm putting out there and trying to produce is, uh, more info or continue to do info about local events, especially, you know, once some of these restrictions are, are lifted, we'll have more local events and we do have some events planned out in the future. Um, but talking about events, destinations, uh, promoting and supporting local businesses. And of course, we'll be talking about real estate here. So I, I remain anchored in the Waxhaw Indian land area, but I'm serving the entire region. So check those out. Let me know what you think. So I guess, again, if you look, if you hit up or if you search for meet me in CLT, you'll find my business page on Facebook as well as uh, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, one other thing I want to talk about is uh, there's so much downtime now, so there's so many things to do. So one, I encourage everybody to enjoy this weather. So we got some great weather right now. I just looked outside my, my office window. It's beautiful out there. So if you can get out of the house, take a walk, go for a bike ride, get some exercise, be sure to do that. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Um, also, there was a great segment last night on 60 Minutes with uh, Brene Brown. So if you're familiar with her, you may or may not be, but... Um, she's a, uh, she's not really a motivational person per se, but, uh, she, she deals with, um, vulnerability and taking care of ourselves and taking care of each other. So she had a great, uh, great little segment last night on 60 minutes. That's worth watching. Um, and my wife and I are currently watching, uh, that show Poops Creek. All right. It's, it's YouTube. I can say it, uh, Shits Creek on uh, Netflix. So we're, we just got into season two. And uh, we've been enjoying that show. And I just finished watching Hunters, which was on Amazon Prime. So that was a great show as well. But I'd love to know if there's anything else you recommend watching. So we certainly have more time at home uh, sitting on the couch and watching some great shows. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in, taking a few minutes, uh, spending a few minutes of your lunchtime with me today. Thanks for watching. Be well. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Until the next time.